to my channel so in today's video we will see how to make lesson plan and I have already made lesson plan on many topics if you want to see that please check it on my channel now let's see how to see lesson plan so here the topic is life process and this is for class 10th in previous knowledge we have to write students have a little knowledge about process of life so in previous knowledge we have always we should write what student is already aware of so here student is already aware of many types of moments that any living creatures do when they are alive and in general in we have to write what is the purpose of our in what we want to teach to students so for that we have right here to let them aware the term life process Mean means we want to explain them what life process is and the second one is to let them know how do organisms obtain their nutrition this is our second point if you want you can write you can add three to four points here and for specific objectives like here we can we have to again here we have to again write the purpose of our teaching so here to enable the students to understand what life process is and how do living things get their food to enable them to understand how autotrophic and heterotrophic organisms get their nutrition of food and for teaching aids we have to write whatever teaching aids we are going to use while teaching so here we have to write a chalk duster model flex chart rolling mode etc like this we have to make our the first page of our lesson plan and for after that we will see the introduction part so for introduction part we have to take almost four to five questions remember not to add more than that because it will be time time consuming so here the we have take five questions first one is we have to ask to students how do we tell the difference between what is alive and what is not so student will differentiate between the dead and the living person and after that we have to ask the second question if any animal or the man sleep we know that they are alive how do we know that and the third one is what about plants how do we know that they are alive so student will answer we see them growing they grow they grow also if they are alive and fourth one so do you think movement is important to keep them alive student will answer yes it is very important so and the last one is what is all this process called as so students will students cannot answer this one so we here we have to give the statement of our aim we have to say students today we today i will teach you the topic life process and then after that we, after that we have to write the topic in the black And for presentation we have to teach to students for almost five to six minutes and after that we have to ask some question related to that we have to ask four to five question related to our topic so here to just explain topic and ask questions so after teaching we have to ask question to the students so here I have had four questions what do you mean by life process was diffusion insufficient to meet oxygen requirements of multicellular organisms how do autotrophic take their food how do heterotrophic get their food like this we have to give we have to ask four questions four to five questions to the students and after that here in blackboard work you can see so after explaining everything we have to show them the chart and with the help of chart we have to explain them once again everything and in the second presentation again we have to teach to students for almost four to five minutes and after that we have to ask some question related to that we have to add four to five questions here you can see what do you mean by chloroplast why do you, what do you mean by stomata and here blackboard work now the rest part of our presentation here this is the explanation part that we have to 
explain to students and after that we have to ask some questions here the rest part of our questions how do amoeba takes in food how the plants obtain co2 and here the answer here blackboard work and after explaining them everything we have to we have to show the chart and students will observe the chart means after every presentation after every explanation we have to we have to take the help of like model or flex chart to explain them everything very clearly and after that recapitulation part here again we have to ask question from we have to ask question from the presentation first and second and here i have add four questions like this and this is our last part application and evaluation here we have to give some fill in the blanks question to the students here four question heterotrophic organism depends directly or directly on dash carbon and energy